excited to be speaking to Jules Mitchell, who is the bus coach. Hello, Jules. Hello. Hello. You, uh, we can see you, but they can't see me. So I wanted to talk to you because we've been working with you at Blue Boo and you've had some fantastic success. So just very quickly, tell us what you do because it's so wonderful. <laughs> yes, I am the bus coach. Uh, it's all about buzzing, but it's all about me. And I teach strategies for happiness to workplaces and individuals. Fantastic. So just share with us then, because your, your journey with PR started last, towards the end of last year, when we sent out a press release and it was the, was it the kindness in Birmingham? And yes. there was yes. some success from that. And you connected with a journalist as a result. And also we've done some training with you from Blue Boost and you know how now to approach the media. Yes. So just yes. talk us through then the three articles that you have secured. <laughs> <laughs> That's just because I can talk. <laughs> no. So basically, um, yeah, after the press release um, and the interest in kindness Birmingham, uh, the uh, editor of the Birmingham Post and Mail lifestyle section, uh, Zoe Chamberlain, contacted me um, by phone and uh, just uh, was asking me some questions. And I think it was about two hours later, I came off the phone, uh, not realising at the time it was an interview, but it was. Um, and she was just really, really interested in uh, the work that I do and the, the different areas that I, I get involved with because I can do um, the happiness and emotional uh, well-being and intelligence for children and, and parents, teachers as well. So that was my first interview. And after that, basically, Zoe was, um, I suppose, hooked with regards to the stuff that I did and said, could we arrange another interview because she would really like to do possibly an editorial on me as a person as well and sort of share my story. So, of course, I said yes, mm -hmm. and we arranged that to, uh, to be just after Christmas, and she contacted me sort of uh, late January uh, to do another interview, and again, we did that over the phone, and again, it went on for quite a long time, and she had a, a lot of material from me. Um, just me talking from the heart, just her asking the questions, and then actually be sending information through to her by email uh, with regard to programs and strategies that I run. So from that, she then uh, has now said that she has three articles uh, ready to go. <laughs> um, so... Uh, and she actually did say to me at one stage, she said, oh, she said, I could talk to you all day. And I said, Zoe, I could talk all day, so we better not. So um, so basically the three articles, the first one is now going to be released in a couple of weeks. And they're doing um, one on the Sunday and the Sunday Mercury and then one on the following Friday. And then um, the other one, I'm not sure, she hasn't given me a date on that, but I don't think it'll be long. But after that, and then coming on the training and understanding more about how uh, you know how how PR works and, and and how media works, I had a thought um, that I could actually contact Zoe because I've got that contact now and that relationship, and offer something that perhaps uh, she hadn't thought about. Well done. I love it when people take our advice and listen and put things into action. So what oh. is that that they've offered to you then? <laughs> well, I made a suggestion, because it's been something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, I made a suggestion that I started to write a column for them, a happiness column. And uh, I, I swear within, I don't know, five minutes of me sending the email, I got one straight back saying she would be really, really interested and uh, if I could send over a couple of draft columns for her to have a look at, to look at my, my sort of obviously writing ability, um, then she would uh, have, a, have a word with the other people in the team, etc., and come back to me. So I did. That was quite, quite difficult, however, because I only had 300 words, and that <laughs> is not a lot to get <laughs> no, <it laughs> yeah, a story across and or I a think message. That it's I did it. Yeah. And she came back and she said, really, really liked them. So what they decided then to do was they hold back the features that she was going to run 
so that they would run the feature ready at the same time as my column was ready so that they could introduce me in the feature. Fantastic, well done. But this just shows, and I know we've been working together for a short while now, this shows that first you need to start with a contact, which we did. We sent the press release out for you, and we can show you with Blueberry how you can access all the media contacts. But it shows you that once you make that contact, how the media needs you. And this is how we try and reassure everybody, Jules, because she genuinely wanted your story, didn't she? She wants articles like you say she's put it into three different ways because yes. they need to fill the newspaper don't they yeah definitely yeah so would you say obviously now you've got more of an understanding from PR can you see how it can benefit and, and build your credibility and position you within your area oh massively yeah um, absolutely without without a shadow of a doubt um, and it is that credibility as well. I mean, now, you know, I've got the credibility now that I, I can say that I am, uh, I'm a columnist yeah. in, in, in a, you know, in a, in a big national, in a big local paper. Um, so that that just adds much more kudos to me yeah. um, in my business as it is. Um, and obviously, um, I'm looking forward to, you know, just the actual sort of, uh, the, the media attention, if you like, and just just getting my message across to um, to all the people of Birmingham now. Fantastic. <laughs> so, what would you say then, on a final note? What would you say to anyone that's thinking of working with Blue Do? Because Blue Boo, because I love helping people. But what would you say? Uh, absolutely, go for it. You know, it it, would, it is so so worthwhile. Um, and the, the fact that you've got um, your academy where you can work through things as well is really, really helpful for you to really um, get to grips with it and spend some time looking at it yourself. But just the advice and the knowledge that you've got, Rachel, I mean, you know, you've given me a lot of advice um, over different things that I'm thinking about launching and how it would fit on the PR side. And it, it's just... Um, it's, it's, it's information and advice and knowledge that uh, I just would not have been able to get anywhere else. So uh, I'm really, really grateful. Thank you, and, and, and we are, we just had a conversation off camera and we're so excited about your future, which we won't announce now, but it is yeah. very exciting. But I think it's not going to be too long before you're in the national press as well, is it really? Hopefully, hopefully. Well, Jules, um, good luck with everything. Thank you so much, and we will look forward to following your progress. Uh, thanks very much. Take care.